So Stella, our Holland Lot Bunny, is about to get completely litter trained. It should be, it should be pretty good. Okay, so they've got a bunch of different types of litter boxes. This is one right here, but this is for guinea pigs. Apparently the ones with the cages, we don't like those. Those aren't very good. I did a little bit of research on them. We don't like the ones with the cages. Something like this, this is not too bad. I think this is kind of the size we're looking for though. Something bigger, because Stella's pretty large. Yeah, that looks like it would work. Huh. All right. So we're gonna do this one, and that's because it's a little bit bigger than the others. It's already got some of this critter litter stuff in that, which helps out a fair amount. But I've gotta close off the top story in the bunny pen. You actually have to make less room in the pen until they're completely litter trained. So all I have to do is get that little ramp and I have to put it up so she can't get to the top story right now. And until she's litter trained, I can drop it back down. It sounds a little mean, but you kinda have to do it until they are litter trained. So step one was getting that. So I need to get her a bigger water bowl that's heavier. So this will probably be perfect. Those can go together. Actually, I'm looking at this shifter feeder, which looks really nice to kind of hang on the cage. I'm kind of just making it easier for me to take care of her and her to kind of just live. Because she's doing fantastic right now, but I want to let her run around the house. So I think I'm going to get this, that bigger water bowl, and then the litter pen. We're going to go back home and set everything up. Okay. Oh, now there's a few techniques you have to use when like litter training a bunny. I just watched like seven or eight videos on YouTube about it. So we've got what we need and then we ca we're gonna clean out the cage. And then whenever Stella goes to the restroom, you actually have to put some of it in here for her to know where to go. It's weird, I don't really like that, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So let's get back into the car and I will meet you guys back home. Layla, hey, I didn't know you were under there. All right, Stella, what are you up to, girl? What have you been doing? Nothing? Stra straight up nothing? Literally? You haven't been doing anything? Okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. It's the cutest bunny in the world. Hey, hey. So when I first started looking this up, before I really watched the video, I wanted to put the litter box up top. But then I realized you actually have to make the cage smaller to where they have less room to run around, because it makes it a lot easier to actually do this. So, unfortunately, it's going on the bottom. But that's okay. Oh god, that was my light. Go for it. No? So I'm gonna wash off this. Now I'm doing this, I'm washing this off because I legit don't even want Stella to be able to smell where she went to the restroom before. So that's all washed, I'm gonna dry it off. We should be good to go. So right here is where her food bowl's gonna go and then I just open it up and dump it all in there. But that's pretty simple. I'm gonna open the lid up. And she's always up here, but I'm actually gonna have to close this top part off for right now because she can't come up here. Dump the rest of her food that was in this. Now, here's the litter bucket. Okay, so if I open this up. Oh, there comes Stella running in. Oh, hello. Okay, this is gonna help her know where to go to the restroom. Stella literally just went back into her cage. What are you doing? Nope, okay. So, this, I believe should go in this back corner right there. Or maybe the other back corner back there. That's what I'm thinking. Now there's this little clip that I need to clip onto the back so she can't move it. Okay. I'm gonna keep this little scooper right there for now. Close that off. And there's my deodorizer. I'm gonna spray this all over the mat. Where are you, what are you doing, hon? I can't spray it on you, Stella. One hour later. Well, she already went to the restroom in it, which is good. But one thing bunnies do like to do is they like to eat. No, 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 no. Bunnies love to eat when they're going to the restroom and doing things. So you have to put a little bit of Timothy hay in the back of the litter pen. So I'm gonna put her in there, close that up, and she's good to go. The saltwater tank's looking pretty good too. I've gotta do a water change here in a minute because I haven't done one in like two days. There's our snowflake eel straight chilling. Hasn't messed with anything yet. All the fish are doing good. Hey, there's the fire shrimp. All right. Oh, and the goby. The watchman goby. Awesome, all right, let's go outside. Hey guys, hey. Oh, is there any minnows left in the dust pond? Oh, I don't see any. Oh my God. 
They ate all of the minnows already. Like, all of them. That's crazy. So the ducks are doing pretty good. And then there's the guineas. Of course, there's always one guinea stuck in here. And now it's it just, it just figured out its way out. Hey, guys. The guineas are crazy. But they've always got to get some new water because they get this stuff dirty really fast. And I just give them pond water because, I mean, they're wild. And that's what they would drink in the wild. Okay. So I'm messing with the skimmer so we can get these waterfalls running a little bit faster. And that's all good. I think the bass might be a little hungry. Yeah, we'll feed everything in the pond real quick. Okay, so this is a piece of tilapia. What we're gonna do, if you guys feed your fish tilapia, just cut it down the middle once. And then these, this thinner side is for the bass so I can make them longer so I can hand feed. So the bass can hand feed that piece. This is a little thick right here, so I'll cut that off. And can hand feed that piece. So those two pieces would be hand fed. These are just little chunks that go to all the other fish. Some longer pieces that go to the other bass. And then some big chunks that would go to things like the gar, the Oscars. Okay, good to go. Like I said, this one is one of the long pieces that would go to the bass. No, oh, not that bass. Oh, come on. Oh my goodness. All right, and all this I just throw in. Okay. That way mostly everything eats. And then we get a handful of this stuff right here and just kind of sprinkle it around for the koi and all those fish. So before we finish off the video, oh, it's bright. I'm gonna run up to a local aquarium shop and get some new salt water so I can do a water change on the tank. Check out this tank. That coral is super, super sick. And these clowns are dope. I really like those clownfish. Thirsty. Oh. Okay, we've got our salt water and we're going to go do a water change on the tank. So like I said, I do one every five to seven days, but I've been trying to do them a little bit more often so we can keep this tank from getting cloudy. Okay, so this tube is in there. All I do is squeeze this probably like three, four times. More than that, I guess. There we go. And the water's coming down and into here. This jug is the same size as that jug. That jug's full of water, so I'm going to pump enough water out to fill that jug up, then use that jug to replenish the water. So we're just taking the old salt water out and putting the new salt water in. Okay, so you can hear that noise. That's because I left the filter on, but it should be fine. <laughs> Okay, so we just got done doing the water change on the tank. It's definitely gonna be cloudy right now because I just stirred everything up, but that should be good. The hammer coral is doing really, really good. I mean, look how fluffy that thing looks. It's cute. I like it quite a bit. We definitely need to go out and get some more corals for this tank. Uh, I think we're gonna wait just a little bit though and give it some time to settle, but the eel is chilling. It just came out because I was changing the water. I already fed them once this week. I only need to feed them one more time. So within the next two or three videos, you guys will probably see me feed the eel, which is really cool to watch at least. So if you make a quick little stop by the beta fish tank, one thing I have not done recently is change what the tank looks like. This is kind of on that normal mode, which I think I kind of want to keep it on a little bit more often. And then this is that other mode where it looks a little bit more saturated and that's nighttime, but Denver is doing great. I don't know where the, the neons are always back there. And then this glass is a little dirty. Here, one sec. I think I got some Fritz glass cleaner. There we go. I'll just use, the, I'll just use this wig. Yeah, that, that should be, yeah, that should be good. Okay. So, with that being said, I'll throw you guys to the outro. Well, all right, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Stella should be litter trained. Hopefully it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Some rabbits are stubborn and you can't get it to work, but I think it'd be really cool to make her a full-time house bunny. That would be sick. And she's also got a really cool personality. And it's Bella's sister. If you guys don't know who Bella was, it was my other bunny that got stolen out of my backyard. And actually, when Chris stole my ducks, like right when I met Chris or didn't meet Chris, um, when he, we started filming videos together, when he stole my ducks, he actually stole Penelope. That video just, it's about to hit a million views, which I think will be the fourth million views video on the channel so that's really cool thank you guys with all that being said if you guys have with all that being said if you guys own a bunny let me know in the comment section down below and if you've ever wanted to own a bunny let me know why and if you plan on getting one and if you don't want to own one also let me know why and if you guys have any other videos ideas or suggestions similar to this one comment them down below and with that being said i will catch you guys next time on that next episode of fanatic peace